Hello, in this video we will continue with the linked list. In the last video we had a node class and in the node class we have the data <coughs> and which is an integer and also a pointer to the next node. And then in the tester class I created two uh, nodes and then I linked them together so, so that the next of two n1 uh, is n2 and I display them in here. Uh, so the problem here is that uh, we need to keep track of one node here, but these nodes might uh, change. So the nodes uh, might be inserted or deleted. So instead of depending, uh, relying on the nodes, we will uh, create uh, another class, which is a list class. So let me create a new class, new class, and let me name this list. Okay, so this list will have just one variable for now, which is just a pointer to the first node uh, of the list. And so here, let's say uh, pri private. Okay, and then private, <coughs> uh, and then this will be a pointer. Uh, to the first and uh, node, uh, to the first node, and let's name this head. Okay, and also let's have a, a constructor. Um, constructor is um, okay. So no parameter constructor, and and <coughs> it will just make the head null. Okay, that's all. Um, okay, so now uh, we need we will uh, insert a new node. Okay, and here let's name this um, add to head. Okay, um, so that should be public, of course, and and then it will not return anything. So just let's make it void and add to head. Okay. Okay, so this will take one parameter, uh, which is um, what was that uh, integer? Okay, so we will say, okay, I would like to insert number twenty uh, as the head. Okay, um, okay, so con consider this. Uh, imagine that uh, we have uh, a node. Okay. So let's say we have just one node, and this one node has the value um, 10. Okay, and then let's assume that this is in um, Florida. Okay, so this number is in Florida, and now we say I would like to insert another one, and there might be also some others. Let's say uh, we also have uh, 20 in Georgia. Okay, and I say I would like to insert a uh, number five and uh, to the head, which means if I insert five, uh, so this might be located in Alabama. Okay, but the next of Alabama will be Florida. Okay, um, so here I say uh, integer and let's say data data parameter okay um, so here uh, uh, it is clear that we need to create a new node okay um, so this uh, here I, I will uh, call the I will call this constructor um, node okay uh, as you see this will take a parameter and also the next one uh, so this becomes the next of this Okay, now let's call uh, to create a new node. I, I use new and then node. So this will be whatever the parameter is. Data parameter. Okay, and then the next of it. So if I, if I am creating this one, which is 5, the next of this 
will be what? Florida. And what is Florida? Uh, it is head. So if you consider this list, the head is Florida. So I pass Florida, which is the current head at this moment, which means the next of this new node will be head. Okay. Um, okay, so head. And this will return for Alabama. Okay. And so we are not done yet. We need to update the head. Currently, head is pointing to Florida, but we will shift it to Alabama. So how do I do that? Uh, this returns Alabama, and then I assign it to the head. Okay, current head. So now let's see how this works. Okay. Um, okay, so now let me, in the tester class, let's do this. Let me just delete this. Okay, actually let me delete um, all of this. Because we are not doing it here. Uh, okay, so first of all, let's create a list. So let me name it list1. New list. Okay. Um, so this uh, creates a new list and then list the head becomes null. And also let's uh, add a new item list one dot add to head okay and let's uh, insert um, 10 okay 10 uh, okay so now let's see if this works okay it looks like it works but we don't know uh, if it works correctly at least it compiled and run um, but we insert it, but we are not displaying it. Let's write another method. Okay, so here, public, let me name this, so it, it is void, and let's say display list. Okay, um, so we have a while loop also. while um, so start from head head is not null okay so keep going uh, so remember head is a pointer to a node um, so here print uh, head dot um, what was that get Uh, we need uh, we don't have the getter and setter for the data okay actually let me just do this data and we have setter and getter for the next but not for this one so let me just delete this and here let's have the setter and getter um, okay so public um, void set uh, date set data okay no um, so int um, let's say d okay um, so this will be data equals to d and also let's have a getter public um, so this will return uh, what is it integer okay so get data um, so simply return data okay now let's go back to list class okay so get that um, so head dot get data Okay, so display the data, and then let's put some space character, maybe two of them. 
Okay, so system out print. Okay, um, and after I display all of them, uh, okay, so after I display all of them, let's go to the next line um, system out print line. Okay. Let's see. Um, in the tester class, okay. So let me just run this. Okay. So we insert ten uh, in the list class. Let's see. So head becomes null. So now let's see how this works. Okay. Okay, um, so after I insert 10, and uh, let's display this. So display the list. I'm sorry, this list one. And display list. Okay, let me save it and run it. Okay. So here, um, so we have a problem. Um, okay, so. Let me do this. Okay. The problem is uh, when I insert uh, add the 10 to here. Okay. Uh, where was that list? Okay. Uh, when I when I add this, okay. So what happens? I create a new node, and let's look at the node. Uh, okay. Uh, so we create that, we assign this, so the next of it becomes null. Okay. Um, okay, so set next, set data. Okay, so head to head, uh, I, I create it and I update the uh, head. Okay, but when I display that, I say while head is not null, display that. After I display it, the head should move to the next one so i don't uh, so this becomes infinite loop okay so in here we say head equals head get next so this is how we advance to the next one okay so if i run it okay it displayed 10 uh, so now let's insert some more um, let me copy and paste And let me make this um, 15, 5. Okay. So let's see how this works. Okay. It works in this way. Um, actually, let me make this 15 and this is 5. Okay. Okay. So it displays this. So there is a problem here. Let me show what it is. Let's say I want to display this one more time. Okay, so display list, display list again. So I should see uh, these numbers again. Okay, let's see what what we get. Okay, no, it displays it only once. Uh, when I display it again, it doesn't display. The problem is uh, when I display the list once, at the end, head becomes null, okay? And then, when I display it again, it says head is not null, but it is null. So the problem is, head should not be modified. It should, it should always point to the first node. So instead of modifying head, you should uh, uh, use a temporary variable, which will be a node. And let me name this temporary node, and initialize it with the head. Okay, and instead of using head, I say while temp is not null, just display the information of the temp, and then advanced temp. So as you see, uh, head is not modified in this way. Um, head. Okay, now let's run it. Okay, so I 
uh, call the display list uh, twice. Okay, now it works. Okay, and it displays twice. I hope this is clear. Uh, have a nice day.